Hey, so this first, uh, uh, so I'm just gonna do problem 2-49 here, uh, how to create a histogram with uh, this current information. So we're given this data in the table below, we need to create that histogram, and it represents families of various sizes. Remember that data falling on tick mark, 369, goes into a bin to the right of that mark, all right? So let's take a look here. If we take a look at these, we have like, for example, Latrice. Latrice has um, f the number of family members, four. They have four per people in their family members. James has eight. I would guess it's Poo or Fu has seven, Byron three, right? So we have all these, and what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out where do they go kind of down here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for all numbers that kind of fit into this bin. And that's that, that bin. So now I didn't go all the way up and touch the three. Why? Because what happens is is the three is the goes into this group and the six goes into this group. So let me explain. What do I mean? Okay. So right here, I'm looking for all the numbers that are zero, one, or two. Okay. And so the only one that I have there that qualifies for this is this two right here. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is my histogram then should have that right here. I have one person, that's why it goes only up to one, that is zero, one, two, or three, okay? Then I'm gonna to go to this next group, okay? Next group we'll have, I'll use a different color here. We're gonna look for all the numbers that are what? Three, four, and five. We do not include six, because six is in the next group. We have a four, a three, a five, and a five. So I have four of them that qualify for this, right? So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go there. Okay, so I have four families that have three, four, or five family members in them, okay? So hopefully that gets you started. I'm not going to finish it right now. Hopefully that's enough for you to at least get started to do this, okay? Now... Um, just to talk qu quickly about these problems, I don't think that was the focus of this, but most students have how many people in their family. You'll be able to look at this and you'll be able to tell where most of the students are. I can already tell, right, there's probably going to be three, at least the three to six range for sure, right? Maybe more, but at least that. And then what we're doing is when we say, do you see any families that are much larger or much smaller than other families, right? What we're looking for is this would happen if Maybe there was uh, one group here and maybe like two groups here or something like that. This group right here is what we call an outlier. They're much larger than the other ones, okay? If you don't have that, if all the numbers are kind of grouped together, then we don't have much some a group that's much larger or much smaller, okay? Hopefully that helps. Let me know if you have other questions.